Hi viewers, welcome back to the Smart Exceler. In this video, I'm going to show you the use of match or X match. So it's not actually a use when you want to have check the match or X match function. Suppose I have a batch one, and there are some numbers, and batch two, there are some numbers. So when I get a batch three, I just want to check that these numbers are not recurring in batch one or two. So I have tried different formulas and I have checked which is the right one. So I'm going to show you which is the right formula to be used. So if we want to use the match function, so we don't want to use VLOOKUP to return anything. We just want to see if it's a match or not a match. So if you do match ETH, lookup value will be this. And now I'm going to check batch one. And in batch one, I'm going to select this row and I'm going to hit F4 to lock the cells. And I'm going to make this a absolute match with exact match. So uh, you can see this is the area where it's showing number one and two. So there is a match in this two. So I'm going to do the same for match for the batch two also. And make it easy. Open the parenthesis. This is going to be lookup value, comma, and in batch two, this is the area where I have to look. I'm going to hit F4 to zero and close the parenthesis. Now you can see some of this uh, is in batch one and some of them is in batch two. And now I don't want to keep two different lines, so I'm going to merge them into one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula, control C, control C, and I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to copy the formula, control C. And I'm going to paste this again over here. So now to combine these formulas, I'm going to use an equal to, and if, Sorry, if, so this is my logical one. So the test if the value is true, I'm going to have a value of true. So this is going to have, I'm going to mention this as in batch in batch one. I want to have a flow codes and I'm going to, so if it is legible test is this one, so I'm going to say that this value should be in batch two and put double quotes and put the double. So you can see it's giving me an error. So if I come down, it's only showing me for batch one. So this help formula is not helping me. So I'm going to choose an X match formula. So it's the same thing I'm going to do with X match. The lookup value will be this comma and lookup array will be here. I'm going to log this cells. I'm going to make an exact match. Close the parenthesis. So Again, it's going to show the same things. I'm going to do for the batch two also. So it's going to be equal to x, x match. The lookup value will be this. The array will be in batch two now. So this f four. Zero. You can see it's showing the same answer. It is match or X match function. The answer is, but I don't want to keep these two columns. I want to merge them into a single column. So what I can do, what I will do is I'm going to use it to copy this formula. So I can show you this will be this is for B1. Uh, this will be for B1. And this is going to be for B2. Let me 
reducing the cash loss. So now if you want the X match formulas, I'm going to do just copy this. Just copy this. Control C. Control V. Copy the formula from here. Control C. Control V. This formula I'm going to make the same like this one only. I'm going to make an X. Open the parenthesis. It's open the parenthesis. It's open the parenthesis. Okay, logical test. I'm going to say this is going to be in. One close the parenthesis, put a comma, and this is going to be logical too. So before logical test, and then put a comma. And where if it is true, then in, in H. You can see again it's showing the same thing. It's doing the same and same thing again and again. So I have tried other formulas. I have tried if I have made two ifs and um, the same thing. I was not able to get the answer. I tried match plus match. I made two different matches. And this again I tried to and I was getting a total free value error. So I've shown you how to do in match and match. And so then I have got a solution. The solution is in its number, the solution. So this video, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the is number function. You can see that if you are able to read this, I think you can see that. I'm going to show you how to use the is number function to solve this. I hope you find this video useful. I'm going to see the solution in the next video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.